Hi, welcome to Mountain View, California. I'm speaking here at Google's headquarters, and I'd like to tell you about something I'm really excited about. It's called Android, and it's a new open source operating system and software platform for mobile phones. Just like I learned how to write great services and software upon free tools for the web, like Linux and GNU, uh, now with Android, you'll be able to do the exact same things on mobile phones. The software is all free, the source is completely available, and we expect great new powerful applications to be developed on it. The SDK is being released right now, and you can download it. And to show you some of the highlights and some of the applications we've already developed, here's Steve. You've probably been hearing a little bit about the G phone lately. I'm here to tell you there is actually no G phone. Instead, I'd like to introduce you to the Android platform. This is a platform we hope will enable people to create thousands of G phones. The first device I'd like to show you today is a prototype that I've been living with for about the past six months, because in order to create a great product, you actually have to live with it. This particular device is running a full version of the Android software stack that has all the functionality you would expect in a basic phone. Here's an example of a home screen. This is a place where you have access to all of your favorite applications, such as your browser, maps, or contacts. If you want to call somebody, just type their name and hit dial. And I'm calling my friend Aaron. Of course, one of the things that we've built into the software development kit is the ability to interact and, and integrate applications with one another. So another example using contacts. Let's say I want to find out where Erin lives. I simply go and type her name. And when I bring up her contact and select her address, it'll take me right to the Maps application. And it's going to zoom right in to show me where Erin lives. If I select C on the map, there we, we notice that she lives on Amphitheater Parkway. But maybe I'm not quite sure where that is, so I want to zoom out a little bit to see what freeway that might be close to. There we can see that it's near the uh, Highway 101. Now, if I go back to the home page, one of the other things I want to show you is the ability for devices on using the Android platform to receive notifications. For example, here, I just received a notification from my friend Lexi that says, ah, pizza sounds good. That must be uh, what she wants for dinner. You notice that it first showed up at the top of the screen and it told me that, uh, that the contents of that message. If I want to go and read that message, all I have to do is navigate up and you can see, oh, there's my notification from Lexi. It says, pizza sounds good. If I want to reply, I just hit the enter key and I can go into my text messaging application, say great, and away we go. It sounds like we're having pizza for dinner tonight. The next device I'd like to show you is a more high-end prototype that includes advanced features such as high-speed 3G networking, accelerated 3D graphics, and a touchscreen. Let me show you the browser application. Our web browser is based on the open source web kit, the industry standard these days. It's the one that allows you to see web pages just as they would appear on your desktop. Another thing that you'll notice about our web browser is that it's loading over the fast 3G data network. This device is capable of accessing the internet at 3G speeds and loading web pages quite fast. Now, the page is loaded here and we're zoomed in a little bit, so if I want to see more of the page, I can simply grab it and pan around a little bit. And if I want to see the page in its full glory, I can simply zoom out and see it just as it would appear on my desktop. We also have a rich visual history for our browser. Go in here and I can look at the history for my browser and I can see all the sites that I visited recently. The next application I'd like to show you is Global Time. This shows you the rich graphical powers of the Android platform. And in this case, it's using the 3D OpenGL ES to render a globe here and allow me to very easily spin it with my finger. I can also play with the earth while it's spinning around. The Android graphics APIs allow you to very easily mix 3D and 2D graphics. Next, I'd like to show you some of the advanced 3D hardware capabilities of this prototype using Quake. Any application that is written to the Android OpenGLS APIs will be able to take full advantage of any hardware acceleration. Now I'd like to show you the Maps application. I happen to be here at the city of San Francisco. Using the touchscreen capabilities of this device, I can pan around the city of San Francisco and watch those map tiles load for me at 3G speeds. One of the benefits of the Android platform is that we build in basic functionality like map views so your application doesn't have to reinvent all the functionality in maps if you want to build something on top of it. 
here I am at the Embarcadero in Street View, starting from wherever I was on maps. If I want to, I can simply take my finger and I can move that image around and I can pan around and see what the Embarcadero looks like. Oh, I can also zoom in. That was just a preview of some of the things the Android platform can do. We can't wait to see what developers will come up with next. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the applications we have built already. But the best applications are not here yet. That's because they're going to be written by you and many other developers just like you. We'd like to reward these developers and to recognize them as much as possible. So we've set aside $10 million, which we're going to give away to the people who develop the best applications using Android. We're looking forward to seeing some really great apps, uh, ones which are innovative, uh, make use of the great functionality available in Android and on mobile phones, and things that are really original that haven't been seen before. I look forward to seeing all of your work.